We have become, over the years, uh, institutional, accepted institutional players in the Supreme Court, repeat litigators. Uh, and I have tried very hard, and many other people have tried very hard, too, uh, to build a reputation, which I think we have, uh, for credibility, um, for competence, um, uh, for being good lawyers. And so uh, agree or not agree with the positions we take, uh, I think the justices on the Supreme Court have come to believe that they can rely and trust uh, what we say in our briefs. And that is true across the board uh, at the ACLU. One of the things that every staff person at the ACLU is very conscious of uh, is that we are in a very privileged position to work for this organization um, and that we are carrying on a legacy that began before any of us, uh, even Scott and I, uh, joined this organization and that, as they say, we stand on the shoulders of um, truly incredible advocates and lawyers who, who preceded us. Um, and the one um, uh, thing that we can never afford uh, to sacrifice at the ACLU. And the one thing that I am very proud that we have maintained as we now approach uh, our centennial uh, anniversary as a national organization uh, is both uh, our commitment to principle, which even those who disagree with us most vehemently, I think, accept and recognize uh, and respect, um, and the competence and skill of the work that, that we do.